I grew up a whole bunch of bears to Fidelka. Of course, we have a brand new producer's letter. Holy crap, they cooked hard with this one. I am so excited. A little drained out, though, of course. We're doing a lot all day. Of course, we're these live, though, because it's more fun that way for me. Um, then I knew I could just chop it up, upload it to YouTube, you know, easier. Um, and I could do you know, regular videos, too, but I could just record these all seemingly back to back, because, you know, if we're going to record on a PC, you know, I gotta export the video, and that could take a little bit of time. But, yeah, we got a lot of new stuff, of course. I am live on Twitch right now, so if you want to you know where my Twitch is, everything's looking below my, you know, comments section, link description. I think like below anyway, so yeah, easier. Um, I did actually redo it as well. Did a little redo section for my um, all my links made it a little more flashier and a little more presentable. Honestly, looks really good. Now. So because we got to produce letter for August of 2024, got to talk about it, go over it. This is the best newsletter ever for Duke, and like the best thing they could have done. And I didn't want to talk about it fully live in like in a video because holy crap, they cooked and did so well with this. So gonna go over it, talk about it, and stuff like that. Of course, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, but yeah, of course we got a brand new um. Easy A, of course with Goji and Engine, but they feel like it confirmed is part, I want to say not technically a part of the Devil Celebration, but it, it, it is at this point. They're like, oh yeah, you know, here you go, here you guys go, because uh, this is the same night on Friday, it got, this is from Friday, like all the info, I screenshot it all, um, they did say, oh yeah, you know, the game start could be fully synced up now, oh yeah, by the way, here's Goji and Engine, it's Easy A, they just threw it out there, that's the first thing I saw, and I'm like, Okay, they cooked it. <laughs> they did really good. I like it. I like it. I was like, okay, but yeah, we're gonna use the ass. I'm gonna make that into some separate video. I usually can make it in this video, but I'm like, I think we're gonna do a separate video. Focus on them specifically, though, because I see a lot of little bit of what they can do, and not too bad. Not too bad. I gotta do a lot, though, so I can for L on easy A. You know, it is, it's really good. Also, that's when we go from Francis ETA. Or, you know, it could be with the new Dark Confess we've seen, you know, because we already kind of got a little preview sneak peek a few days ago. Uh, you know, by the time recording anyway. But yeah, um, yeah, they're getting easy A. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love that. Uh, got to do Battle Mario for Gogeta and Janippa as well. I like that. Of course, it definitely is part of the down, um, down celebration, though, because they added this, and I'm like, yep. Yeah, always difficult, though, because I, think the, I, think, I didn't even test out the Broly one. Yeah, I heard that one was kind of lackluster. The most difficult fight for me probably was that Gohan and beat piece Gohan and Orange Piccolo, because, whew, before down celebration, yeah, I got cooked. Um, I could barely even survive. Like, that one one hit almost killed me, but I made it through. Hopefully, this one could be done. Can test if I had my taste buds. Because got a brand new schedule, of course, for um, Global Moon on 10 year. We got a few 10 year stuff actually in here we can talk about. So, yeah, of course, like I said, it's just a typical world about your characters, updates, you know, new info, new details, etc., etc., though. So, I'm going to talk about that as well. So, yeah, little roadmap right there. We got some new skills, new quest mode stuff for Gun Freedom Bardock. I think they're probably going to be awakening into their TUR. So, I mean, they, we are another going to be in LR at some point. They said it was going to be in October, I believe. Okay, yeah, let's next, next, next topic. It's going to be Bardock and Freezer. They are getting their TUR awakening next. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna, honestly, I, I could wait. I could not. I might wait, honestly, though. You'll get one for LR. Wait, get that to a T or Like I said, kind of wait it out, though, because I could easily, you know, get it all done right now. But I'm like, you know what? I'll take my time with this. I did it for Trunks and, um, Broly Fully with them to get easy aid and stuff like that, of course. Well, no, they're probably gonna get easy aid next year, I feel like it. If they don't really need it, though. I still do want to test them out, though. They can, I want to see how hard they can hit. So, yeah, Freezer and Brock are pretty much going to get the TRs later in October. So, by the time we get this up, it should be October already. So, we definitely should be seeing that. Um, time we got the link for me. Time for is the last day of September. So, yeah. But, yeah, let's get the TRs. We'll probably see them in LR probably in. Um, I'd probably say next year. I want to say maybe March. Because I think that's when. I'll probably say March, so if not March, then probably somewhat after 10. I'll probably say March. Saying day would probably make sense. I think that's when Broly and Trunks got their awakening. I gotta go back and check. I think it was saying day they got their awakening. It feels very similar because I feel like I did some more videos during saying day. Because Gate okay, Jerry's gonna probably be the busiest month for Doki in July. The bug could, you know, put some potato pot in that slot when the game sync up. Or when the, the games are synced now, so. Um. You know, we still don't know, like, you know, if Tenenbaum's going to be in the same spot, they could have moved it or not. But, you know, because Tenenbaum is an actual dope thing in JP, and it makes kind of sense that would be a thing. So, um, yeah, that could definitely be factor on or on to something maybe later. But, um, yeah, um, that actually would be kind of nice, though. Uh, again, like I said, probably could be still in that same time slot in, J in July. And again, for global, it's going to be more easier because, you know, JP, you know, 10 years could be in January. We can save up a little bit until, you know, Tenenbaum, if we wanted to. I probably actually might. 
uh, since you know we can save up a lot more. I think it's basically like more I can um, save up a little bit more stone probably. Because again, you know, we still got heroes coming. I think uh, they can take from also heroes is gonna be a thing in here. So I didn't couldn't find him here. Yeah, Divine Dragon Carnival heroes crossover. That's gonna be in December though. The Dragon Carnival is in December. So um, after you know the um, I think it's usually after the units for um, end of the year. Or so. That's gonna be pretty much the carnival. That's gonna be there. Yeah, team your coin event, which I did see here. Quest most stuff. That's part of the um, Free of the Awakenings, the Greatest Warrior event. Your know, details and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, um, here's the new ten year coin event. Looks like gas is ten anniversary is approaching. Co um, coin collecting of campaign part one. Uh, complete missions to get ten year um, warm up coins. Like you know, it's we you know, we had still call like you know nine year coins, eight year coins, but now we're getting specific new coin from this event though. So we can farm it out and get it done and everything. Of course, but like prizes like kai's, stones, etc., etc. I can't even know the full details yet. The boss on this, I was like, guess we're finally getting ten year content early, so I'm gonna be making a ten year content um tab. I did it for nine year. I did it for worldwide. Gus probably start doing it for major celebrations. Probably ten about it as well. Just because the celebrations don't occur, I'm gonna make a full playlist for them. You know, get some more content out for the channel. Get more and enthusiastic with my stuff like you know if i cover sonic content i gotta make i made like a whole movie playlist for that I, you know i cover doping content i'm gonna make more wide you know i'm, I'm gonna make a 10-year tab though that should be the next um tab that's gonna be up soon for a playlist oh playlist i want to say playlist i say playlist i say tab yeah but yeah we got that coming up though too uh we got something new as well for around 10 year very much approaching so it seems like every month could be based off the anniversary like october coming up we're gonna have events and like events so that's kind of connection and correlations from one year and second year different's gonna have third year and fourth year December's gonna have fifth year and sixth year january's gonna have seventh eighth and ninth year and of course you know 10 years gonna be also in january so we're gonna events and stuff like that of course you know events um you know little stuff kind of like i said representing and correlating to the uh, years from Dokken from the for the next few months from the last few years on to the next few months so it'd be kind of cool to see like something for like t like a gogeta and vegeta fight for from fifth on fifth year you gotta get a new difficult event from like six year get like a new duck confessed kind of something like somewhere like you know from seven year etc etc something like that it actually would be really cool and really awesome again we don't know the full details yet though but that's really really exciting and that's really really awesome to think about uh, we got new stuff right here for like units, so pretty much, you know, it's gonna tell you how many times you super attacked, it seems like it, you dodged, you invaded, etc, etc, how many times you guarded, as I invaded, hit an opponent, received a hit, which actually would be kind of fun too, like for future videos, you know, it's not like how many hit times you got hit, how many times they dodge, you know, kind of keeping track of it, though, that would be, that is kind of nice, and a lot of people don't want to see this and don't get implemented, and I like it though, it's really, really cool, really, really awesome, I like how that's going, um, but yeah, because it's cool to see that in the future. I was going to say this as well for passives now, so all you got to do is press this little tab button right here. This seems really, really cool, so you know, you know, originally we always had to hold it down to see the unit. Now all you got to do is tap the little button, boom, see? I can see the unit fully, so for the passive and everything, which actually does help out a lot more in the future. So, yeah, a little bit of standby, still there, you know, active skills, etc, etc. So on that tab is, you know, you can see the unit's passive now, so yeah, it's going to be kind of cool when they do break down and stuff like that, of course, like, you know, for the units later in the future, when we get it updated, so they don't have to hold it down, we can just see it in a few, probably like four or five different tabs. But I do like global JPs, like, you know, globals, keys are all separate, though, specifically, it helps me out more during radios, so I still like it, though. Of course, we got new effects for stunning, ceiling super attacks, you know, um, just, you know, you can't evade, you can't dodge, essentially. Pretty much getting new icons for that, though. You know, delayed attacks, you know, could we just see this, I think, before in some data downloads, I believe? Right, might be the first time we're seeing this, though, but it felt like this, no, no, I think it was, I think it was these, I think. It might have been these we've seen, like, different icons and stuff like that, of course, or stuff like, you know, we've seen in the future. But, I mean, yeah, that's, I think it might be the first time we've seen it, but I like it, though, I like it. Um, yeah, we got new icons, of course, we got the greatest warrior. New for newer players, you know, you don't have to grind stuff out too fast, you know, you don't have to do too many missions, etc., etc. But it, this event pretty much, you know, it's, it's, you know, pretty much for this event specifically, we have full details of it as well. Too many missions, um, unable to power up, you know, unable to power up, you know, some characters do, uh, do not, um, this is due to not being able to clear events such as Duck and Fest, overwhelming, um, out of content after clearing the missions. I guess that people complain about. Again, this is a typical token though, so I'm not really shocked or surprised. People complain, oh, they do the events too early. Oh, we got nothing to do. I mean, 
wants to take her time, not rush through everything. But because this is for players who like that type of stuff, though. And of course, we're getting a brand new, it looks like free to play team for this, so it's all Saiyan Zaga. So, we got Piccolo and, Go, Piccolo and um, Gohan, Krillin, we got Tien, we got Chao we got, um, yeah, I'm sure we got Goku, of course. You know, he'll probably, you know, maybe easy from this event later on. It'd be kind of cool, you know, he's usually like, the character, you easy get him, get medals from this event. These are all the SSR arts, these are the TUR arts. This looks awesome. Oh, it's like, oh, crap, they're finally doing some free play, you know, event, you know, free play units for Saiyan Saga. I mean, we've been wanting this forever, so I'm happy about that at least. Really, really awesome, really, really cool. You know, free play Saiyan Saga units, you know, all the card arts, all their everything right there. So, well, I'll get the details and stuff with like that later on. Um, that's probably like a month or two, honestly. So like that though, of course. Duck Fets are going down the new format now. So as it's right here, the summon formats of the Duck Fets and the Legend of Carnival will be unified. Oh no, um will be um will be different, I think it seems like at this point though. They do have full details right here for the summon format. It says right here, perform summons to get Duck Fest coins limited in exchange for a certain amount of coins to get the new characters. Her rounds only guaranteed to have a feed unit every three multis. So it seems like you know we summon and again, for me, changes I felt like it gets pretty much like how Down Celebration had it. You know, we can get the main unit, you know, we have a limited amount of coins. So I do kind of like that though. I kind of like how it has a pity system. So pretty much it's like you summon, you um, get coins. Like, like the Down Celebration, you summon, you get limited different coins. They're not Duck Fest coins, they're not Carnival coins. And then you, you know, get those coins in the gift box. Like you normally will get a coin and then, you know, you can just get the main new unit. So pretty much you can get the main new unit. Um, essentially, that's what it seems like it right here. Like I said, like the down celebration is a pretty good example because let me go right here. Okay, you, know, you go to summons. If it was gonna be like this, so you know, you summon, we got a brand new coin right here. You know, go in the shop, and then you can pretty much, like I say, I guess just get the unit, like like how this is formatted right here. I feel like that's pretty much how it's gonna be now. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Again, I could be wrong, though. Again, I'm gonna probably look into that a little bit more. Or maybe make a second video on it, talking about it, because I do want to talk about that too. So yeah, I look like you know, right here, I like the seven rounds only. Uh, you get a guaranteed unit. Of course, you know, feature is gonna be every three multi. So I do like that though a little bit. So 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 yeah, I guess pretty much it actually for all the new stuff. I did. That's the new talking for Vegeta. So again, there's really nothing new right there. But yeah, um, I can be worried about that by now. So this was gonna be a play anyway. So not too bad though, honestly. I am really curious about the duck and summon thing though. So yes, yeah, it says perform summons, get a duck and vest coin limited, and exchange it for a certain amount of coins, get the brand new unit, seven rounds only, get a guaranteed to recruit a featured character again. You know, pretty much exact featured character, guaranteed, or other multis. I do like that though. So you know you have a chance to actually get the unit more. You know, encourages some more summons though. So another new pity system. But not too bad though. This news had a lot of stuff to pack in, had a lot of good stuff, had a lot of goodness. But yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. Welcome to the game. I'm sure that that's it for watching. Let's go. That's all. We've gone up and we're massive on the paper. We're really to get back to the can. Well, that's how to guys. Thanks for watching. So I'm obviously the course was where you guys are awesome. But that's the ball. Some football, of course. Like you hate it. Again, very simple, very easy. Like I said though, not too bad. Love the producers out there. Again, easily one of the best ones Dogan had. I love it all. See you guys later. Let's go.